Hi, this is uh, the FPS um, system I've been working on in Blender 2.49's game engine. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a, a red triangle for the um, target marker and then um, green triangles for bullet holes. Uh, obviously you want, you'd want to replace those with proper graphics if you wanted to make a real game. Uh, so you can shoot uh, stuff, and if it's static, if then it doesn't move. Um, if it's a dynamic object, then it does move. Uh, it does react uh, to the shots, and also the bullet holes get parented to the object so that they move around with the with the dynamic object. Uh, you've got uh, you can move up and down slopes. You can jump. Um, you can um, you can go up slopes, uh, but uh, you can't go up slopes that are steeper than 45 degrees, and you start to slide back down. Um, the movement's quite nice and precise. There's no sliding. Yep, so that's about it. Um, now I'll give a quick overview of how it uh, how it's actually implemented. Uh, this is uh, back in Blender. You can see this is the logic panel. You can see the um, the logic for uh, the movement stuff here. Um, basically, the way that the Blender game engine works is to have sensors here, um, controllers here, and actuators here. Now, sensors detect things like mouse movement and um, uh, keyboard presses. And uh, so when this uh, sensor here detects a, a mouse movement, then it sends um, a signal down uh, this connection to the controller that it's attached to, which is this one here. Uh, now, the controllers, you can either have um, logical ones like this one, uh, which is just simple logic like AND or XOR and, and uh, the other kind of logic operators, or you can have more complex ones uh, uh, which are controlled with um, some Python code that you can write. Um, uh, then the Python uh, code can take the information from the sensor and decide to do something with it. Uh, it can either directly affect the scene or it can send uh, a request to one of the controllers here uh, uh, and ask that to affect the scene instead. The game engine also has states, so each object can have its own states. Um, uh, we're currently in, uh, well, here are the states at the top. We're currently in the um, in the move state for this object. Uh, you can, you know, decide what each state should do. I've decided that this should be the move state. Uh, the other states that um, this object has are this one, which is the stop, which is the stop state. Um, this one, which is the slide state. This one, which is the uh, the jump state, and this one, which is the free fall state. Now, um, it's very likely that when you create these different states, you're going to want to reuse or you're going to want to do some similar things in each one. For instance, in all of these states, you'll want to look around. Um, uh, the best way that I've found to do that is to uh, use uh, uh, Python um, Python controllers, which are set to be uh, to use a, a module, which you can write. And then uh, inside uh, that module, this is it's just basically a text file with a uh, .py extension and um, containing Python code, usually a class. Um, uh, so I, uh, I have a class here, and then within that I have uh, different functions, uh, which I can call in as many of the different states as I as I need to. Uh, so I have 
um, a move um, a movement uh, function here which I call in uh, the first state and I have further down um, that uh, that was another uh, this is another type of movement uh, which I use in the free fall state and in the slip state and um, down here is the look function which I use in all of the states so in all of these five different states uh, from uh, yep yeah, in all of them uh, you'll find a a Python controller which um, is connected to a mouse sensor and which calls the look function so there's no need to write separate code for each state all you have to do is call the uh, same code um, the same function uh, again and again in the different states so there it is in the um, in the movement state and here it is in the stop state the look function there and you can see it's attached to the mouse uh, sensor again so I hope you like the uh, FPS demo and um, the overview of the game engine and uh, I hope it was useful and thanks for watching and see you later. Ta-ra.